this morning. You've been so generous and so kind uh, for my birthday and for the last video that I thought I'd give you another little video. So here's another messy cook in the kitchen. So I have two big jars of, of those now. But if the frost does come, I want to be ahead of the game. I want to have some uh, chilies, green chilies that I can use all winter. If the frost comes and it's a hard one, it, it's expected down to two degrees Celsius in a day or so. So I've done those today and I've also started up some more apple cider vinegar because I used some of my last batch as the basis for the spice vinegar for these pickled peppers. Okay, stay tuned for a messy cook in the kitchen. A messy cook in the kitchen today, I have picked a packet of peppers to pickle. And it's going to be frosty in a couple of days time. So I thought, well, what I ought to really do is pickle the peppers because frost might kill the plant and then the peppers go all soft. Well, first of all, I came outside and I picked what I'm calling peppers, but they're not really, they're chilies. They're a beautiful Thai banana chili rating four. So I came out and I sort of started at the bottom here. Look at that. Look how many there are. There's still loads there, isn't there? This is the new garlic patch. So we'll keep an eye on that. Anyway, I digress as usual. I digress. So I picked the peppers, brought them inside, I rinsed out the jars, the big jars that I was going to put them in with hot water, and then packed the chilies into the jars with some garlic and a little red pepper in each so it looked nice. That's that bit. So I did that, packed it and then I got the vinegar. Ready. So on here is the sugar, salt and spice mix which is peppercorns, allspice and bay leaves, two tablespoons of black peppercorns, teaspoon of allspice berries and two bay leaves. simmering there we go on the stove look at that I I boiled over the chooks rice oh my god I was so busy I was outside and I thought okay today being the right day moon wise to plant root vegetables I'll put in the garlic which I did in that bed that I was getting ready and I, I sowed carrot seeds that I saved this year so they're nice and fresh and I put in a couple of rows of heritage, mixed heritage, beetroot. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, and next, <laughs> what I'm doing here is apple cider, making apple cider vinegar because I just used half of my last lot in here. Now, apples, apple cider vinegar is really easy to make. So just chop up your apples, or if you're making an apple pie or something, and you've got peels and um, cores, that's fine. Put them in the jar here, and fill the jar, and then for every cup of water, put a tablespoon of honey. And that's pretty much it. And then you cover it uh, with a cloth, like muslin or something, and check it every day and just push the apples down and you'll know when you've got apple cider vinegar you'll know when it's become vinegary and then sieve it through a muslin i kept it in a pop top bottle like one of these that's um that's got my sweet chili sauce in it one of these and leave the pop top open a little bit in just in case there's any more gas and then when there's no more gas 
bottle it. I actually put mine in um, in this thing, my stainless steel water bottle. And I just checked it today to use it for this vinegar mix for the pickled peppers. And it tastes really nice and it's definitely apple cider vinegar. The spice vinegar is cooling a little bit before I put it into the jars where the peppers are packed with a couple of bay leaves in each jar and I think I might put a clove of garlic in as well as I have lots of garlic. I've planted the biggest ones today, all the biggest cloves, so I might put a couple, yeah, I might just put these ones in these two jars here and then continue with making the apples. So these these apples were the ones that you know weren't weren't the best that one looks a bit old actually um but from my granny smith's apple tree i i got a lot of apples so these ah oh, there we go we can use those as well but these ones these are all good all these apples here was about was about five kilos which I was pretty happy about. You know, the tree's only been in the ground three years. When it's cool enough to have the fire going, I'll do that and I'll warm the water to do the dishes and everything. I try always to use one heat source. So if it's cool enough to have a fire, I won't use the gas and I won't use gas hot water. That seems to work out really well. Back to apple cider. Here we go, apples garlic sewn <sighs> dish is done apple cider vinegar on the way and soon there'll be these two jars will be full of the vinegar and I just store them which will be great so in the winter when when a recipe calls for a green chili woohoo I have green chilies okay off I go back to apple cider vinegar See ya. I'm going to use this honey. This is um, pure Australian organic raw honey. So that's what I'll use, but I need to upend it a bit because it's nice and cool in my pantry drawers. So I need it to let it run down a bit. It's beautiful honey, but it's not the best, you know, having to squeeze it out of the bottle. Anyway, let's wait a little while for that. So the pickled peppers are here. So all through winter, I think, you know, when a recipe says one green chili, and these are actually a Thai chili, and out of a 10 rating, these are a four. So they're pleasantly hot there you probably well my brother would probably chomp on one raw but I'm not sure that everybody would so I think they're called Thai banana chilies and I really hope that I do get a red one at least so that I can save the seeds this is as much as I'm going to put in this jar today so then I'll measure out water and for every cup of water I'll add a tablespoon of honey and that's it. How easy can that be? Okay, some cold water. Water on tap. Brilliant. <laughs> I was so long in tin hut, I think um, two years. Well, actually, till I moved in here, I never had water on tap. So it was really a case of chop wood carry water. One. I really admire the people that do YouTube vids and stay so focused. So for every cup, one tablespoon of honey. Oh my gosh, how, how many cups did I have? 
three and a half. Yes. Was it three and a half? Four and a half doesn't sound right. Let's just go with three and a half. How's honey going? How you going, honey? It's dripping down. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. I, <laughs> I also admire people that can talk about one thing and only do one thing at a time. Uh, me, uh, it depends. Like, depends on what needs to be done, how busy I am. But I thought I'd share it with you. Okay. Oh, the wind's picked up. The fire is not alight. And I'm cold. So it's time for a nice cup of coffee. Ooh. See you later. Bye bye. Thank you.